Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hi, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff. Next to stop rolling in whatever that is. Oh my goodness me, nails. <laughs> How are you all? I hope you're having a lovely day. We have got, we have got, I have got a whole bunch of new colours. Some are from spring collection, some are from the new collection and some are just some in between. So I'm going to show you. Um, I have got my pops already labelled with my Dymo Lecture tag. I do have a video on me labelling pops with that. If you're interested in that sort of thing, I'll put a link in the description. So I'm going to go straight into the colours. I'll put all the names on screen. They're all gel perfection polishes that you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. For the polishes on that website, not for anything else, but for the polishes you do need, they are professional only, but you can grab yourself like a really cheap certificate in about 20 minutes for about 20 quid online don't tell anyone and that will mean you can buy job perfection but anyway um i was speaking as if i was going had something else to talk about was there anything else not really um i wanted to show you all the new swatches because they're just so damn good um, and I'm really excited. I've used some of them, The this first lot, I've used some in videos because I've had them for a while. I just haven't got around to swatching them. You know, when you buy the pops, I have to always message the seller, be it on Amazon or eBay, and check whether the end of the pop that's got the hole in that you put on the metal ring, if it's rounded or square, because all mine are rounded and I don't want just random square ones thrown into the mix. No, who would be able to sleep at night? So... Uh, that's why I had taken so long to get round to getting some swatch sticks. So I'm going to swatch these today. I'm also going to do a couple of designs with them because there's a new blossom gel, which is also known sometimes as a blooming gel um, from Job Perfection. So we will use that as well. Uh, it's the last day of Wimbledon tomorrow. Who else is devastated by this? Oh my goodness. I mean, you're probably glad that I won't be talking about tennis again for a bit. Um... But my fed is out. My Rog, my Rogie. Uh, yes, I did wear all black the following day, including a full length black veil in mourning for Roger not being in Wimbledon. I'm so sad it's not the same without him. But tomorrow, oh, actually, no, this will this video will be posted after the men's final tomorrow. But if you did watch it, how just scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> is Matteo Berrettini. Oh my goodness, he's so yummy. I just want to drizzle him over some ice cream. <laughs> I, uh, I called someone dishy the other day and someone pointed out that the kids are calling hot people a snack, which I knew, but I'm in my 30s. I just can't bring myself to call someone a snack. Plus a dish is much bigger than a snack. So I would rather have a dish of a man than a snack of a man, you know? So, <laughs> but yes, hot guys all around in the tennis. Someone commented, <laughs> someone commented, they seemed very uh, disgruntled at the fact that tennis has a big following. I don't know why it would bother someone. I mean, I don't know anything about pretty much any other sport. Um, because I'm just not interested. But if they were like, oh yeah, this sport's really huge, you know, there's loads of people watch it, I wouldn't be bothered by it, so I couldn't care less. Um, but someone's tone kind of read that way. Maybe I just read it that way. Maybe I have my sort of defences up when it comes to people saying anything negative about tennis. Um, but we had... Um, I'm, I'm not talking about what's on screen because you can see and I I can't describe colours. I've tried it before. You've heard. It didn't go very well. This is an orangey orangey with a yellowy undertone. And I said that Florida should be that one because Florida oranges. There we go. Um, that's a lot. Um, but yes, we had um, Sexy Bex in the Royal Box yesterday and Eddie Redmayne. I saw Maggie Smith in there today. Tim Peaks. Yesterday was in there, astronaut, who actually lives very near me. 
Um, I was very excited to see an astronaut at Wimbledon. I mean, it's my two worlds, my two massive passions just combined. It was just great. Next thing, it should be Tim Peake's playing Roger Federer <gasps> at Wimbledon. Oh my goodness. And both of them are wearing some intricate nail art. I mean, and, and there's a dog as a ball boy. That would be the best day ever. I'm going to start a petition. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wimbledon is being held on the moon. <laughs> on the moon. Nay, nay, nay. On Saturn. <laughs> it's Federer. It's 28-year-old Federer. He's playing any astronaut. Everyone's wearing nail art. <laughs> the ball boys are dogs. And I'm in the royal box next to uh, Will and Kate. That's it. It's a great day. Will and Kate were actually there today. Tom Cruise was there today. He wasn't in the royal box though. Um, but Will and Kate were. Unsurprisingly, Megan wasn't there this year. <laughs> She'd just get booed and people would just throw their strawberries at her. And you can't go wasting strawberries like that at Wimbledon, darling. Um, so these are the Summer Brights collections. Collection, uh, um, and then these are some more. Oh, I just want that day to happen tomorrow and then every day for the rest of my life. Um, these are just some kind of random ones. Ariel, I named this one. Yay! I love having... So Danielle, who founded and owns Diamond Glitters and Gel Perfection, she, several years ago, asked if I wanted to be um, on the admin team for the Facebook group because I posted on there a lot with my work pictures using all their glitters and things. Um, so I joined the admin team and that's how I got to know her. And so you just kind of moderate, help moderate the page and approve posts and answer questions and things. And then she said, oh, I'm going to be releasing some gel, pol like I'm going to start doing gel polishes. So that was obviously really exciting. We had a big naming session when she got them all in. Um, and then before they were released, she did like a road trip of the whole country and visited all the admins and dropped off the first kind of um, release of colours, which was cool because I obviously got to meet her for the first time. We laughed because I'm actually closer as the crow flies to France than I am to any other <laughs> any other admin. Um, so she dropped the new colours off and then now every time that a new collection comes out, then we have little naming sessions where we'll, we'll pick names for colours. So it's really cool. I have the polishes I use, you know, they're professional only brand but I some of them are names that I came up with and that's kind of cool um where was I going with this I have, I have absolutely no idea all I, can, all I can think about is astronaut tennis um but I will do so this is the last one I think of these sort of these are they weren't part of any collection they're just kind of random releases uh, I will definitely be doing something with Ariel at some point. Possibly an Ariel Little Mermaid themed set. Although we have just done a mermaid -y type thing. Um, and then this is all of the new colours that I have. Uh, finally swatched. And I'll leave those on a separate ring like as they are like this. Just for a few weeks. Just so that all my regulars can see the new colours together as opposed to me trying to sort of fish through the 200 and something other colors so that's those done we now have a few foils to swatch i'll put the names of these on screen look at this little clip one of my clients gave me that because it's sparkly she's so sweet and so i'm going to take foil it which is the gel perfection foil gel and when i do when i swatch foils if one's sort of a translucent or a see-through foil that's got a pattern on i always do it on a clear pop because then you can hold that pop over a color a polish color swatch and you can see what it'll look like on that so i always do my clears on clear as opposed to putting a color underneath them because it can sometimes change the tone a little bit uh, so i'll swatch those i know what i've been meaning to ask you um oh we all know i rub foils for way longer than necessary it works every time and i think i show you how perfectly it picks up off the foil but it's just a scary process <laughs> what if it doesn't work oh my god um, but it always works. So what was I saying? Yes, I need some box set recommendations. I'm pretty sure I've watched every single box set there is that would interest me. Um, you know, there's a, there's a thing on Netflix at the moment about some football team. I don't care about that. I don't care about football. I think in England are playing in the Euro finals tomorrow, which will be probably over and done with by the time this video is out but 
I'm not watching because I just don't care. Not that I don't care about England. I just don't care about football. Um, where was I going? Yes, so I need some box set recommendations. I've watched every true crime, murder, documentary. I've watched everything I'm interested in, so I need some something new to get into. Because I watch box sets when I'm filming. Like I recently watched, and I'm very late to the game on this one, but I recently watched and have since finished um, Jane the Virgin. And now it's over, I'm really sad and I'm going to miss her. I need more Rogelio de la Vega in my life. Um, so let me know if you've got any cool box sets that, that you've watched and really enjoyed, or films. I watched um, The Tomorrow War the other day and I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and then I looked at reviews for it and there were a bunch of people saying that it was that they didn't like it and I really liked it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I haven't talked about nails at all, have I? I'm kind of sorry, kind of not, because what, you know, you try and talk about nothing really going on for 11 minutes. Um, so this is what I mean by putting, um, holding the clear pop over a colour so you can see what it's going to look like over it. And this one was clear as well. Uh, the leopard print in the background is a bit clear. Um, and that that's not the last one. I've got one more, the purple hollow one. Oh, it's so good. But on these pops, you'll notice when I get to it, the purple hollow one goes really, has a lot of stripes in it, but it doesn't and it won't on an actual nail. You okay, Dexter dog? He's a good boy. Um, but on these pops, it's obviously how they're made or whatever it has. It makes it look really streaky. You'll see in a sec, but look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's just, I could just stare at that for hours. Probably get a bit of a headache after a while, but you'll see here. So it's a flat, you know, there's no pattern to it. It's just plain color and it's just hollow. But when you put it on the pop and the same goes for all the, are you making enough tip tapping noise over there, Dex? Um, it goes stripy. I don't know why, obviously something to do with the pop and how it's made or whatever I don't know it doesn't matter but it won't look like that on a nail it will look like the the foil does um just flat and one one color uh, but it's nice to look at this way that looks oh it just looks so cool and look at that pickup oh, so good um so I'll top that one and then I think that's all the swatches done and then I'm going to do I just thought I, I should do something with the colours. So I did something with the current Summer Brights collection, which is the ones that are named after places, because I've used some of the others in other videos. So I thought we'll do a nice bright thing. And what a Wally. I thought I've seen a lot of this, mostly with sort of hearts, of a heart in the middle and then different colours, just sort of outlining it and getting bigger as it goes out. So I thought... I'm not massively into heart-shaped stuff, but I love stars. So we'll do a star. Oh, it's not even this one. Must be the next one. <laughs> I'll moan about that in a minute. Uh, this one I'm using the Blossom Gel, which is new. So this is really good for marbling. I've, I've got a video for a whole bunch of different ways to marble. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and my favorite way to marble is to put some colors on top of whatever the, I choose the base color to be and then use some isopropyl alcohol to kind of spread it out and let it kind of bloom. But this does that for you. So I haven't cured the blooming gel. I'm putting Ibiza on there. I'm putting it onto the wet, uncured blooming gel, uh, a blossom gel, sorry, it's called. Um, and then I'm just going to run it around a little bit with my brush. But do you see how it's kind of dispersing by itself and doing its own thing? So it completely eliminates the need for doing the step where you um, put some isopropyl alcohol on your brush or cleanse prep solution, whatever you want to call it, um, and pat it around because the pink is just kind of spreading out and doing its own thing. And then I'm taking my brush and just kind of wiggling some white through it and I'll pull some through here and some through there and just kind of just let everything do its own thing. And it does have a more organic look this way. Uh, so blooming gel, blossom gel is really good if you want to do marbles but don't really want to have to faff with them because uh, it's kind of spreading by itself. So I'm going to top that with diamond glass, of course, of course. 
and that's that just the easiest marble ever and then we will get on to the next one where I decided to do a star shape instead of a more simpler shape and as I got a few colors in I thought whose fucking ridiculous idea was this <laughs> oh yeah it was mine um okay there's that one off you trot on to the next one. But also, you notice how that light line was really straight. So the, the blooming gel, because it sort of spreads everything out in its own wet layer, everything's still smooth. You haven't got any unevenness from, you know, other marble techniques. So there was no lumpy bumpiness. And therefore, when you top it, you get a nice straight light line, um, which is... Is, uh, is sometimes the bane of my life when doing some designs and there's a lot of detail and you want there to be a straight light line because but because things are so there's so many layers the light line can be a bit wibbly wobbly which is when super gloss which is a, a rubber top coat that's really good for that um but to just use a normal top coat that's not a rubber one it's nice to not have to work for a straight light line everything's just smooth and it is just straight um that was a bit long-winded wasn't it sorry <laughs> uh, so i'm going to do a star and then i'm just going to use the other colors so i'll do pink orange yellow green blue and then purple which is morocco which isn't a purple purple it's a very pinky purple but it was um the most purple out of the new collection so i'll crack on with that and won't really say a great deal about it because there is nothing to say, really. I should have. Actually, there is something to say. If you didn't want to do a star like this, I tried to get the star so that the middle of the star was in the middle of the nail, but I would place it a bit further down than that because obviously the point at the top of the star is higher up than at the bottom. How am I going to explain this? So at the bottom of the star, directly underneath the point at the top of the star the star goes up so there's a white gap between the, the two legs that goes upwards so it ends up looking a bit too high up because the top of the star points up and the bottom of the star has nothing pointing down um yeah that was terrible um but i would do it a little bit further down so i'm just going to go around uh, with all the colors and then once i get to once i've done morocco the purpley one i'll then just start again with the pink which is actually this pink is paradise i think and not ibiza so paradise isn't from the summer brights collection um it's one of the sort of mid mid collection releases um, or sometimes when they bring out a collection they'll bring out a few others that are just sort of separate from the collection, but they come out at the same time. And where that blue, I'm trying to sort of recorrect my star shape because I was losing it a bit. So I did that. And then I think at the end, I went back and filled in um, any gaps from where I've tried to correct the shape. Um, so those gaps I would have filled in with the green, which is Fiji. I've never really been a green nail person, but... I'm definitely swayed by some of the gel perfection greens. And when I put them on clients, I mean, I my, na my nails are black at the moment in July, but um, normally I'll wear a dark color, a burgundy, a plum, black. That's pretty much it. Or I'll wear a nude. Um, but I always, when I'm painting clients and I think, oh, why don't I do my nails really cool and funky and bright colors? I really should start doing that a bit more shouldn't I oh well oh and I've got my little RF logo on my thumb it means nothing now I have my little oh I've got a funny Dexter video for you that I'll um upload soon I had <laughs> I had my Federer my Federer hat on I have the Federer logo on my thumb I have the Federer logo tattooed on my body <laughs> And I had my little Roger Federer Funko Pop on the telly, and he still lost his match. It's as if those things had no effect whatsoever on the outcome of the match. So we are topping the 
stars. Oh, I added some Alaska just around the centre star and in a couple of other places, some white just to kind of, I don't know, define it a bit more, I think. And then I'm topping that with diamond gloss and curing it and that will be all she wrote um i hope you've enjoyed just hanging out with me and listening to me ramble a bunch of nonsense um for 20 minutes do let me know if you'd like to see a set done with any of these colors which colors any summer set ideas are more than welcome uh, you can follow me on instagram at miss joe's nail co for loads of pictures and obviously subscribe on here for lots more videos i appreciate you being here so so much and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye, -bye.